All right. Thanks for staying with us. This is Breakfast Live, and you're still on the media review segment. My name is Dennis. Dennis is I still have uh, Gifty and Theresa with me. Uh, before the break, I said I was going to ask Gifty, uh, rather than finding loopholes in this report, should we not be concerned about addressing the unemployment situation in the country, which we all admit from time immemorial we had we faced with this problem and it's growing so should give to, i mean i mean welcome back uh, should we not be rather concerning ourselves in addressing this than trying to find holes in this report in actual fact um when you were when the lady was talking and you were chipping in i i found it uncomfortable because i didn't say i was rubbishing what the report is saying I'm saying that I even know somebody who was out of job because of this close down of banks that NDC is always using. Meanwhile, it was part of the IMF conditionalities. And so when MPP came in, they came to continue. How could Bank of Ghana be giving money to banks who were not working? Now you heard they, they sent somebody to court mm, and seen the course. amount of money he spent on himself. And they are, these are the people who collapsed the bank and not the MPP. Because when IMF say all these banks who are, who are not working, they are putting burden on the central government. And every time the central, central government has to push money in there. And it should still do it. So that Bank of Ghana, you go to Bank of Ghana, there, there will not be a penny in the bank. And then you give it to individuals who will mismanage the money. No. And this was part of the IMF conditionalities. And that was how we were able to even come out of the IMF that the NDC left. Because they were part of it. Why shouldn't we do it? If banks are just collapsing the central bank, we just sit down and look and be watching them. Meanwhile, those who the government didn't even collapse, what is happening to them now? Mm. They themselves are using people's money. They are spending people's money, and the banks are down. So now, will you also blame that on the government? When people get chance to um, open up banks and other things, that's exactly what they do. They misuse people's money. And then they'll go, they'll be hiding behind Bank of Ghana, collecting money every month, paying for people's loans, paying for uh, um, people's premiums that they've uh, put in the bank. And that, that is what, then number two, mm. you see, when did this thing start? I'm telling you that somebody went out of job and he was driving Uber. You ask him and you tell him that he's not working because he thought that he's not doing what he was supposed to because he completed university, he was working at the bank. Now the bank collapsed and now he used what the, the, the money that was, was given to him to purchase a small car and he's now um, driving Uber. But you tell him and he will tell you that I'm not working because he thinks that is not the job he wants to do. So he doesn't see himself as working. Me, I'm not blaming them. I'm telling you that that is the nature of the Ghanaian. Because they all, you see, and it is something that maybe um, the slaves left for us. Because in those days, it means you are not working. That is how people see it. And so, who say, Oh, yeah, Jumani, he will tell you, I'm not working. And because you, you are not go going into their houses to see whether the person is eating or not, because that's the report the person told you, he said, I'm not working. So, when, if you want to get the accurate report of whether to know those who are working and those who are not working, it is through the Ghana card. Because that, in, in, uh, when, you, when you are, um, when they are taking information on the Ghana card, mm -hmm. they don't ask you whether you are working or not. They will ask what, what you are doing for a living. Then I will say, and then you tell them. So if you are engaged in anything, it means you are doing something. Mm. But it is the mentality of the Ghanaian. So if I come to collect uh, data and you tell me you are not working, I can't, I can't, I can't write that you are so working. But then probably they should ask the question. Towards, where, um, towards, and even it. the work towards it, the government has even started it. Oh. Because immediately the government came to power, he realized that the grammar education was not helping us. Mm. So let me bring in TVET. Even it was started by um, Osafu Mafu, 2006. When the NDC what did they do? They put it aside. And that I heard Mama saying, and I was not surprised. He said, why should we um, separate TVET from the grammar school? Why shouldn't we? Because we want perfection. We want competence. So at least when you separate it, then you'll be able to monitor it well and do it well. And mm. I'm telling you that people have completed university and they are coming to TV service begging that they want to uh, be enrolled uh, uh, on their competency base because they were not cancelled in school and they didn't know. And so that is why I'm you saying don't find that... find this an issue, do you? No, I, I, it's an issue, but I'm saying that we are working towards it. And mm. that is why the Minister of Education will tell you that I want to restructure the face of 
career guidance and counsel. So we start from the primary school. Then even if the person wants to play football, he knows that I'm going through schooling, learning how to play football, and I'm working as a footballer. Even those who are even playing football in these small, small teams, they will tell you they are not working. That's how the Ghanaian is. And I'm saying that I'm not rubbishing this. I'm saying that that is our nature. That's how we answer or respond to questions of whether you are working or not. That is what I'm saying. And the government is doing that. Why would they now set up TVET asking people that if you know you want your child to learn a trade, don't send him to the wayside. I've now, um, I have about 252 TVET institutions. Send your child there so that you also get the training for free. And I know that anybody who has learned technical education will not complete the technical school and come and tell you that I'm unemployed. By all means, you get something. Can I learned computer, I learned masonry, mm. I learned it, and I won't get work to Can this report be useful to the government? Well, for me, I'm talking for myself. The government can use this report and maybe do further investigations to know which areas they are talking about. To, because I've, I've come out saying, because I have done it before, and this is my observation. So if they will listen to me, they'll go into it and find out how the persons, the people understand what it means by being unemployed. Okay. And then the vice president came saying that we have, um, we have employed so much. And then the NDC will come back and argue. Why would you argue? You are talking about NAPCO and whether they, they, they put them into training or they are left behind. You didn't do anything. And I'm telling you, half a loaf is better than none. 